Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video on my channel. Welcome to the first Q&A video on my channel this year, yay! If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and join the family. Turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from me. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back again. I truly appreciate you. We're in a different setup right now i am currently traveling i am in dodoma in the capital city of tanzania came to do some very exciting things i have lots of updates for you guys but anyway so i'm in my hotel room and i'm actually just waiting for my flight at four and it's around like 12 now so i figured okay i might as well use these two hours before check-in to film a video and so that is what we're doing right now let's hop right into it i have some of them on my laptop and some of them on my phone so the first question is did i get a salary while i was working in botswana and the answer is no when i was in botswana i was there as a student intern not as like a doctor intern like an intern doctor i was a student intern so what that meant was okay for those of you that don't know i stayed in china and in china China, your medical school is six years if you're studying in English and those six years are divided into five years of school and clinical work and whatever and then one year of just in hospital training and so that one year of in hospital training is what I did in Botswana so obviously I wasn't eligible to be paid because I wasn't even a graduate yet so simple answer is no uh, how did I prepare for USMLE during your med school guys I didn't do USMLE and I don't plan on doing it I have no intentions of working in the States as a doctor um, not at this present moment what was my favorite rotation and why what's my favorite quote and did I suffer from burnout as an intern I actually like this question so my favorite rotation was my emergency medicine rotation why because in emergency medicine, you get to see everything. You get to see gynae, peds, medicine, surgery, everything. And you get to like think on the go and you get to like really apply the knowledge that you've learned. Whereas like in the wards, like inpatient and, and in the and in at like other specialties, you're getting patients that probably have already been partly treated and you're just like finishing off at continuing the care. I like being the one to like start the care and i like like doing procedures but i don't like standing too long in surgery if that makes sense i like like using my knowledge but i don't want to sit all day like a physician and like you know be thinking the whole day so like emergency medicine for me was that perfect balance and i had the bonus and added benefit that the emergency medicine department was really good where i did my internship so that was a bonus and i learned a lot actually during my emergency rotation i learned how to do chest tubes central lines uh pocuses and so many things so yeah i really had to i think that most of my skills that i gained during my internship i gained them during my emergency rotation um did i suffer burnout yes a lot the reason you guys didn't see much of me in 2021 and the reason that my videos were so like mm, um, in 2021 was because I was burnt out. I was literally just putting videos out for the sake of putting videos out. I didn't really feel like doing anything. I just had one goal to survive my internship and that was it. It wasn't that it was hard. It was just like really tiring. Like the place I did my internship was nice, but it was also like very toxic in a very weird way. So like I was always tired and stuff, but I really had a good internship and I'm so grateful um, with how everything turned out and I did end up being the best intern so I guess like the burnt out paid off I don't know um, but yeah now that you're done with your internship can you tell us what hospital were you doing it please why is everyone so keen to know where I did my internship like what does it change and what does it help um, okay so I had two reasons for not sharing where I did my internship number one was security and, and like privacy reasons obviously as someone like on online um you don't want to like share your location and your whereabouts because people are very weird and and i do have quite a sensitive job so i don't want like issues with management and stuff right but then also secondly um even and this is also the reason why i never shared my university until recently because people tend to see things online <clears throat> and then they make whatever assumptions that they want to make for themselves. I thought your internship center was great because you posted a picture of scrubs. Like just because I post and I make videos 
doesn't mean that I'm enjoying that place. You get my point? Like people will see you smiling in a photo and automatically think that, okay, if I also go where she's at, I'm going to succeed. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do what and what. But like, especially with my uni, a lot of the success that I had was based off of my own work. It had very little to do with the actual institution. And for the, I'm sure like majority of my classmates hated our uni. I had no issues because of my personal like I my experience is not everyone else's experience I don't know if I'm explaining this properly I, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say but like the same thing with my internship I don't want to like say I went to this place and then everyone goes expecting to have the same experience that I had because it's not going to be the same I had totally different experience with the other interns actually like three or four five people I think left our hospital and chose to do their internship to continue somewhere else because they hated it there and other people were miserable all the time other people were in trouble all the time everyone loved me like you see it's like a different experience totally from what other people had and so I don't want to say I went here and then people go there with no research and no and and sadly that's like what we've come to now as a generation people just and this is why I don't really answer questions on like Oh, please tell me what you need to go to Oh, where should I go and study because you should do your own research come and ask me hey do you know anything about these universities and then I'll tell you don't come and ask me where should I go so those are the reasons that I don't share um, and why I won't be sharing where I did my internship but if you're in Dar es Salaam you probably figured this out long ago and that's okay keep it to yourself okay <laughs> Could you talk a little about your moving between countries, your reason and the whole experience? Okay, so if you've watched my videos from like the very beginning or you followed my story like from the beginning, you would know that I always, always, always wanted to study and work in Canada. I had this obsession with Canada, but Canada is expensive, child, and my family isn't like a rich family. We definitely couldn't afford to send me to Canada to do medicine. If I'd been doing like business or something else, yeah, maybe. But medicine is one of those like really expensive courses all over the world. So that definitely wasn't op an option for me. And I also, so even though that wasn't an option, I knew that I still wanted to be like really far from home. I just had this thing like I want to be so far from home. And so Russia is where I want to go and so when I finished um, uni and um, when I finished high school in 2013 yes um, we finished it like November I think and I wanted to start like January Feb I wanted to start like my medical degree I, I knew what I wanted and I don't want to waste time I don't want to take a gap here I don't want to wait until September for the normal intake I wanted to go in January Feb and so I couldn't do that in Russia because their intake is September, October. And so I applied to go to Ukraine where they had a January, February. Only problem is the people that I applied with, I don't want to say they conned me, but they weren't very honest. Um, I used, what was it called? UCAS? UCAS or something I you know what I'm actually going to find it I'm going to put it on the screen you guys want to see it here if you guys want to use them be fine if if you've used them and they did you right fine I don't recommend them at all but till now I think they owe me like a thousand and something dollars and I've even finished my degree I left the country like years ago but one of the I think the, the leader of it and his wife got arrested at some point that's how bad it was um, so I went to Ukraine in December, January, I think it was January or December, I don't know. I went to Ukraine um, at the end of the year, after, straight after high school. I was there for almost a year and then in May 2014 is when Russia and Ukraine started having their and places were getting bombed and stuff and I was like this is not what I signed up for so I left and then I still wanted to be far and I still just wanted like that like far new totally different from home experience so then i went to china and that's how i ended up there but while in china i knew that i didn't want to live there for the rest of my life and also obviously knowing that i had a goal to come back and work back home back home i mean africa um that's why i chose to do my final year in africa and then my plan was to always go back to school like immediately after 
Um, I also want to go and do cardiology or cardiothoracic surgery or something of that sort. Like I really wanted to do something with cardiology. Um, and then COVID happened, so then I couldn't go back to China. So then I decided, you know what, let me just continue doing my do my internship. And then um, yeah, so then I couldn't stay in Botswana. Um, I don't really want to talk about Botswana right now, you guys. I feel like I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always ask me like what happened with Botswana why do you have so much I don't have so much bad to say I just had a really nasty experience that I think people would be surprised to hear about and I don't want to put that out there I don't think I don't see that it's necessary to like put bad stuff out there unless I see that this is going to help someone else then I will but for now it's not going to help anyone so there's no need to do that um so I left Botswana and then I came to Tanzania. Best decision of my life, career-wise. You need to know your stuff. They focus on teaching you. They have equipment. They have trained doctors. They have resources. It's great. I love it here. <sighs> oh, that was a long one. Day shift or night shift? Day shift. I like being at home. I like sleeping, child. Like nobody want, wants to be on night. What? Who wants to be on night? What specialty could you never do? internal medicine <laughs> y'all i could never be a physician child oh hell no i will be a pediatrician five times before i become a physician i cannot what would you tell your five year ago and future self okay so five years ago i would tell myself to stop panicking stop micromanaging everything relax you are going to be fine you're going to get there and everything is going to be okay and I think this is what I've actually worked on over the past five years. It's like letting go and letting God. Because I used to over plan and then be flustered when my plans don't come to fruition. It was so bad. Um, but now I've learned how to like plan what I need to plan, what I can achieve, what I can control and let everything else work out. Um, and then my future self, I would tell to keep going, keep going. You've got this. And God didn't bring you this far to leave you so you've got this just believe and everything will be fine how did you survive obs and gyne with how busy it is and any advice to people joining internship uh, child okay so obs and gyne is that specialty where you have to be good with your hands but also you need to have like knowledge in your head um why i say that is because there's the surgical part of gyne and obs and then there's also like knowing what to do. Like the emergencies in gynae and OBS can be fatal if you don't like think, yeah? Um, so study guys, like with every specialty, study, 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 do practice questions. And for me, how did I survive it? It was, I actually enjoyed gynae. In Botswana, like that was my favorite rotation. When I came here, it wasn't the same as BOTS. So it's the one department that I wish could have been better during my internship here. But I genuinely don't have a problem with Obs and Gyne. I was doing Caesars by myself. I like, you know, I, I don't have a problem with Gyne. So I can't say how did I survive it. I just enjoyed it. I think the more you practice and the more you study something, the more interesting it becomes. So study it so that it becomes easy for you. And when it becomes easy for you, you'll actually start to enjoy it and you won't need to survive it. You'll just live through it. Um, advice for joining internship study guys study study <laughs> study it's like that's it study don't lose yourself in your job and make time for the things and the people that you love otherwise the job is gonna start um, taking a toll on you and you're gonna hate it that's it what are you most afraid of so if you had asked me this last year I would have easily told you failing and I think I'll be saying this earlier in the video I'm scared of failing but I am most afraid of not making it to heaven period that's it what do you do on days that your faith is so low I think for me honestly because I know that God sees everything he hears every thought even in secret even every like every almost thought he sees it and so for me when i know that like i'm struggling just getting on my knees even if i i fail to pray like just the action of getting on my knees i know that god is going to hear my heart and that alone is enough and he's going to keep pushing and and pushing me until i can say the words until i can you know be strong enough to fight and and yeah whatever it is so it's just for me it's just knowing that okay he's there and i feel like this 
past like few months have really like grown my relationship with god and like strengthened my faith keep watching sermons when you don't feel like reading the bible open a sermon watch it fall asleep to it listen to gospel music just stay away from worldly things when your faith is low because then you're going to be drawn into nonsense and you might find yourself struggling to get back totally your content is the best i really don't know where i would be if it wasn't for your videos i love it thank you so much um this is actually i really like this comment because well it's not a question yeah i like this comment because I was quite down and out like towards the end of last year because I I saw the effects that my internship and being busy all the time and being inconsistent and being tired all the time had on my YouTube channel when I was coming from a, a place where I had just blown up, I had reached a million views on one of my videos, I had become monetized, I was securing brand deals, my views were doing so well, my videos were doing so well getting lots of views like in the 20s, 20,000s, 10,000s, you know. And then I continued growing, yes, getting subscribers, but my views continued dropping. And like right now, I went from getting a thousand views in a day to like, I'll get like a thousand in like a week if I get a thousand, you know? And it's embarrassing, yes. I mean, not that I'm competing with anyone or anything, but it's a little frustrating as well because it's like, wow, I really, I am the reason that this is, well, I'm, I'm not the reason it's happened, but my circumstances are the reason this has happened so that obviously made me a little sad and stuff and it's like do people find me boring like does anyone care to hear what i say you know you start questioning yourself and doubting yourself but all is well and this year i'm going to work hard on my channel again and i am going to try to be more consistent and actually put out meaningful content and not just like post for the sake of posting um yeah hey guys there's so many questions what advice can you give to a first year student? Start working now. Don't let anyone tell you, oh, first year is nothing. First year is jokes. First year is fun and games. First year is not fun and games. It's fun and games if you want to wake up in fifth year struggling. Um, study. Like, get into the habit of studying so that by the time you're like in third year and fourth year, you're not suffering. You're not struggling to study. Okay, so I think that's all the questions I'm going to answer, guys. There are so many questions. I can't answer all of these. I can't. Like, this video will be here until my check in time. Um, and the videos will be too long. You guys won't watch it. So, <laughs> shade. Anyway, um, so this is the end of the video. I hope that you got the answers you were looking for. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them either in the comment section or in the next video. If there's something that I talked about that you want me to go into more detail on, whether it's faith, health, studies, whatever, do let me know and I'll be sure to do that. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment, leave a like, um, turn on your post notifications, share this video, and I will see you guys in my next video.